The Great Ocean Road is 243 kilometers long, stretching from Torquay to Allensford, which is 10 minutes from Warrnambool. The road begins approximately 100 kilometers from Melbourne. It is the world's longest war memorial. World War I veterans built the road from 1919 to 1932. Before the creation of the Great Ocean Road, it was very difficult to travel between the towns on the southern coast. Following years of discussions, it wasn't until the end of the First World War that the Country Roads Board finally committed to the road's construction. They approached the State War Council and proposed a plan to hire returning World War I veterans to build a road as a memorial to the soldiers that died in the Great War. The plan suggested beginning the route at Bar One Heads, continuing west along the coast through Cape Otway and finishing close to Warrnambool. On March 18, 1922, officials opened the first section of road from Eastern View to Lawn. To recoup some of the building costs, travellers had to pay a toll of two shillings for cars and ten shillings for wagons with two or more horses. The typical Aussie pastime, surfing, is fantastic along Victoria's southern coast. Bells Beach is home to the world-famous Rip Curl Pro, but there are several other excellent places to jump on a board no matter what your ability level. If you're a beginner, then head to Torquay, Anglesey, and Lawn and take a lesson from the pros at the surf schools. If you're a more advanced surfer, then experience the great winds and big breakers of Torquay and Bells Beach before visiting one of the best surf spots in Victoria, Joanna Beach, 35 kilometers west of Apollo Bay. Some of the most iconic sites along the route are the natural rock formations, carved from the limestone cliffs over millions of years. The Twelve Apostles are the most famous of these. Standing high above the waves, these tall limestone stacks battle to remain standing as the crashing waves slowly wear down their bases. Interestingly, there were never twelve stacks and the name of the Twelve Apostles was adopted because it sounded more appealing than the previous name, the Sow and Piglets. Only seven stacks now remain, but they are still an impressive sight, especially at sunset. Further west is London Bridge, sometimes called London Arch, in the Port Campbell National Park. Just like in the song, London Bridge is falling down, that is precisely what happened here. In 1990, the bridge, that connected the rock formation to the land unexpectedly collapsed, leaving the natural arch isolated from the mainland. Even without the bridge, the London Arch is still a beautiful example of the erosive power of the ocean. During the winter months, many of the lookouts along the Great Ocean Road offer fantastic viewing platforms for whale watching. South right whales and humpback whales swim through these waters during this time of the year on their way to breed in warmer waters. Look out for the telltale plumes of spray to spot one of these incredible marine mammals. Kangaroos and wallabies also live along the route. Generally favoring grasslands and forests, they are most commonly seen hopping through the landscape at dusk and dawn. You can also see kangaroos and wallabies, and many other animals, in the Otways National Park, or at the wildlife parks, such as the Great Ocean Road Wildlife Park, and Tower Hill Wildlife Reserve. Along the way, visitors can stop at various lookout points to take in the stunning views of the coast and the ocean. Some of the most popular lookouts include the Bay of Islands, Cape Otway Light Station, and the Twelve Apostles. Visitors can also explore the rainforests, waterfalls, and wildlife in the nearby national parks, such as the Great Otway National Park and the Port Campbell National Park. For those interested in history and culture, there are several notable sites along the road, including the Flagstaff Hill Maritime Village, a 19th-century village that has been restored to show what life was like during the time of the great ocean-going sailing ships. The road also passes by several lighthouses, including the Cape Otway Light Station, which is the oldest surviving lighthouse in mainland Australia and offers tours and exhibitions. In addition to its natural beauty and cultural significance, the Great Ocean Road is also a popular destination for outdoor activities such as surfing, fishing, and camping. Whether you're looking for a relaxing road trip, a chance to explore the great outdoors, 
or an opportunity to learn about Australia's history and culture, the Great Ocean Road has something to offer for everyone.